Back here? Okay, thank you. Mr. Chairperson, Regents, Provost Wilkins, and the ASN and Chief President Sables. <laughs> then Mr. Faculty Senate would like to make a few comments on today's proceedings. On Saturday, October 6th, the Faculty Senate Chair in his capacity as an ex-official member of the Board of Regents requested to attend the closed session scheduled for this morning at 9 a.m. On Monday morning, October 8th, the Chair of the Board of Regents informed the Senate Chair that our request had been denied. I believe that the Faculty Senate as a whole shares my disappointment. However, as Senate Chair, I accept the Regents' decision. Regarding today's decision by the Board of Regents, I would first like to remind everyone that the Faculty Senate previously commented on the Regents' decision on October 1st regarding the resignation of President Couture. At that public meeting with the Board of Regents, the Mission Faculty Senate stated that they wish to convey respect and support for the Regents' decision. Today, regarding the Regents' handling of the appointment of the interim president, the Faculty Senate would like to acknowledge receiving this information. Finally, I would like to remind the larger NMSU community that throughout this process, NMSU faculty and students continue to participate fully in the life of the university without interruption. In a few hours, I myself will be walking across campus to Hardman Hall to teach 60 smiling faces in one of my favorite classes as an instructor. Hardman Hall is one of several buildings on campus that would benefit from Bond C if the voters would choose to pass Bond C. My understanding of Bond C is that it would not raise taxes one penny, but it would certainly raise the spirits of the 60 students in my class. It would probably also raise the temperature a couple of degrees in the winter as the heating system could stand room for improvement as well. I can't imagine a single student at MSU who during their time here does not take a class in Hardman Hall or Jacobs Hall as part of their general education requirements. These buildings could be improved and the students would benefit. It is my hope that the citizens of this state will raise the spirits of my students by sending a message that although we share the concern to spend our money wisely, the students of NMSU University, at New Mexico State University, are always a worthy investment. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Thank you, Dr. Kettler. And just a couple of comments from me personally. Uh, uh, Tim and I have gotten to know each other pretty well <laughs> over the last few weeks and really value his uh, perspective. And, um, as recently as you know, 8.30 last night, we got to visit for a little bit this morning and so forth. So I'm just uh, I'm really pleased at the level of engagement, not only by the people who stepped up and made comments, uh, but, but by Dr. Kellogg as a leader of the Rackham Senate. And so I uh, really look forward to, to great things from the State University as we move forward with the input from the stakeholders that are necessary. Thank you, uh, Regent Cheney and members of the board. I would just like to say that um, I'm very pleased to finally have met Dr. Pacheco. It turns out that our academic careers have almost intersected numerous times. We actually have a number of academic interests very much in common. And um, I'm hoping that we can uh, work successfully together on behalf of the institution and perhaps um, create a, a groundwork upon which a very successful search can take place. So thank you, Dr. Pacheco. I look forward to a working relationship.